Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create drill down group report with subtotal and grand total from very basics. So let me open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and show you report. I just created this report to show you and then we are going to create the same report from scratch. Here is my region and it is grouped. So if you see Asia and uh, this is the subtotal I have here and this uh, then I have Europe and then I have a uh, North America these are the subtotals I have it here uh, and then at the end uh, I have a grand total and uh, we have plus sign right next to this uh, data once we click it here we can see the detail so this is called a drill down so if you want to go to previous state you can uh, hit the plus sign again and uh, this is how you will be doing it you can uh, open or expand uh, the details uh, and if you don't like it you can uh, put it back uh, so that's how our report is going to be first of all let's prepare our data so I have prepared the data so I'm selecting them uh, first name last name uh, product name item sold uh, item price and all those kind of thing and region uh, from DBO sale table so I'm gonna take this select query and uh, this is coming from the sales database uh, so in this uh, projector we have a uh, sales uh, shared uh, data source already created so we are going to use that one this is pointing to the sales database so all good now right click on the reports add new item click on the report to create empty report and we let's rename this one we are going to call this drill down and then call the group subtotal grand total add empty report will be added next part is uh, ne we need to make a reference uh, to the shared uh, data source uh, so we will click here add uh, data source uh, we can create uh, a new data source here and embed in this uh, report uh, but in our case we are going to use the shared one uh, so make a reference uh, to the existing uh, say a shared data source in our case is sales uh, it's better to rename this one so I'm gonna go back to the data source properties and call this one uh, DS uh, sales because even you see in your report if you see data source one doesn't make sense so let right click on the data set uh, and use that query and here we will be using embedded data set uh, as well and uh, now we will be using uh, the shared data source uh, in our case is a DS sales that's pointing to the shared data source so this one is a reference uh, in our report uh, or pointer to the shared data source so let's paste our query here we can use the uh, text or we can use uh, the store procedure in our case we are using a simple query so we pasted our query and uh, if you are using a store procedure you will be selecting your store procedure hit ok next part uh, let's bring uh, the table uh, on which we want to insert these uh, fields uh, so we have table here and then uh, once we have the table we can expand it a little and give some space to ourselves and here we need the first name last name product name item sold item uh, sold price and then finally we, we don't need the region here so let me delete these columns real quick we don't need them and uh, now our report is pretty much ready there are a few things we need to do let's sorry not the I'm gonna insert a text box and call this one uh, drill down group reports you can call anything what you like doesn't matter so now we click here sorry and expand it a little adjust the length and width so at least our report look uh, some decent bold and uh, give some background color and uh, this is uh, all good if you wanna go ahead and change the font size as of now we have created a, a tabular report uh, so it is detailed report we didn't put any group here so we need to do one thing uh, we need to add a group here we have uh, multiple options we can click here click on the table and then uh, you will see these three lines uh, in this cell you can right click here and then uh, go ahead and say add a group uh, and say parent group uh, or if you don't like uh, doing the things from here you always go from here on the detail right click here add a group and then parent group this is the same thing so let's do this one and now we are grouping by region so hit region and we want to add a group header fine now we are all good let's select this part of the header uh, row and then we are gonna make this bold change little some colors 
come back here let's preview the report now you can see that the group is created and we don't have subtotal and all that let's add the, those subtotal and grand total and then we will come back to the drill down part so now we are going to go to the design again any item we want to uh, add the subtotal or total by the group uh, we select uh, in the detail and then uh, go to the add total once you do it it is going to add those uh, values for each of the group uh. so now this is done here we will provide the call this subtotal or a group total we can call it group total as it is a uh, total by each group and select this uh, entire row select here and uh, now you can go ahead and change the color if you want it so green is fine with me and I'm gonna make this one bold so let's preview the report so it's looking good right so we have a group total or subtotal now finally we need the grand total let's go back here now once we have the group total if we will take the sum of that part then it will become a grand total so let's click on the this part I want again sorry here once you have this selected uh, with the black uh, border that's where you need to uh, right click and say add total now you have grand total here grand total let's select this uh, row and then change the fonts let's say in this case we want a italic and the color should be different so let's uh, take the gray one now we are good all the things are done we have created the group we have created the subtotal we have created the grand total now we have to add the drill down capability so here in the go in the design go on the detail why because if we will hide the detail on the first when we will preview our report remember I have created this report and when you see that the details are hiding so that's why we know need to go to the detail so go to design here and go to detail and then say group properties once you are here what we want to do there is a visibility tab here so on the visibility what we want to do as we have clicked on the detail what we want to do we want to hide them and when we hide them when the report is initially run at that time hide the detail fine and then do what display can be toggled by this report item so okay you hide that detail but when somebody click on the region so toggle that then expand that then show us that so this is what we are doing so hiding the detail and then toggling by the group so hit okay we are all good here now you can say, see that drill down report is ready and this is how our Asia you have plus sign and the details is hiding because this is the first time we are running report so whenever you will run the report first time it will be uh, this uh, summary and then uh, when you want to expand it you can click here and it will toggle so you will see the detail when you click back it will toggle back so in Europe you will see the detail you, you click here it will bring it back you expand it and then click here to toggle it back so that's how you will create your drill down group report thanks very much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you in next video